What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. In the last episode, that whippersnapper Scraggy stole our blue gems and today we are heading to the Hazy Maze Cave to get them back basically, or hopefully get them back. It's actually called the Hazy Pass but for some reason I'm gonna keep calling it just Hazy Maze Cave just like I called Stony Cave Horny Cave for whatever reason, I don't really know what was up with that. But last episode I just kept messing up all the names of everything so hopefully Today, that doesn't happen. Anyway, we are heading into Hazy Pass, 1F. So here we go. Let's see what sort of adventures await us here. Seems like a really different area though, so. Oh wow, look at this. We got some switches of some sort glowing up in here. So this is what I was talking about where they have basically the outside areas of the dungeons where you kind of solve some little puzzles um, rather than just having, oh gosh, what are you, how are you doing? Yeah, rather than just having um, the inside area where you go through the more typical mystery dungeon kind of scenes. So, we have battles outside as well, and this is what I was talking about where you can move diagonally a lot faster. Um, so if you hold the R button, you can do that, and that is really helpful when you're trying to basically move diagonally, because a lot of times I try to move diagonally without it, and it just doesn't work out. So, let's hopefully take out this Audino here, and oh my god, look at that, we already took it out. So we do have battles outside as well, so got a little whooper here. What are you going to do with no arms, buddy? You can't fight me with no arms. And okay, apparently Thundershock, oh wow. Okay, I think whooper is actually only water type. Um, it's water and ground type when it evolves, so I'm guessing that's what's up because otherwise it wouldn't have been affected by Thundershock, or at least I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think whooper is just water type, or maybe just Mystery Dungeon's weird and lets you hit ground types with electric moves just like Ash Gray does for whatever reason, but um... Not really that much of a puzzle here, but rather just stepping on switches. Step on the switches, I don't think there's really a particular order, so just step on all three of them. And you're gonna go ahead and raise yourself a little bridge up to the next level. Would you like to climb the stumps to move forward? Of course we will, why wouldn't we? If we don't do that, we can't move to 2F. And here we go into the more traditional sort of dungeon feel, and you basically go, it kind of alternates, in some dungeons at least. At least the ones I've played so far, it seems to alternate. So sometimes, I guess you'll go through dungeons where it's purely like the traditional mystery dungeon and sometimes you'll go through some that are you know alternating so here we're going to be going through a traditional dungeon and then once we're done with this we're actually going to go back to the other type of dungeon so let's actually have pikachu do a little bit of damage here by stepping ahead and somehow that missed which kind of sucks i saw there was a sawaddle around here and i kind of want that money that it picked up but for some reason i can never find the pokemon to drop money for me so kind of sucks um we do have as you can see, we have PP on these moves, but uh, you do get elixirs, I believe, so let's just check out our items real quick. We don't have any yet, but I believe we're going to pick some up later. We get like elixirs and max elixirs and stuff like that. Uh, that helps us basically gain back our PP if it does get too low and we don't really have enough to use any moves other than auto attacks. So, basically this game does take care of you pretty well and doesn't let you die, basically, so... Hopefully, you know, I don't really, I don't know, Ash Gray is giving me a pretty good challenge right now, so I kind of just want this game to be a little bit easier, like a breeze, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just, I'm being a little bit too easy on this so far, but um, I do hope that it gets a little bit tougher later on, because I played a little bit through the game and it doesn't seem to be too tough, but at the same time I don't mind it, because like I said, Ash Gray, I don't know man, those gyms are giving me a little bit of a challenge, just having to grind a lot basically, so... I just kind of want this game to not be as grindy. Ash Gray is a hack, however, so I don't expect like the main series games to be that much of that. Like Black and White 2, it had some challenges, but it really wasn't that challenging overall, so maybe this game will have some challenge in it, because I always do like to have a challenge in games, but I don't know. It's always nice to also have like a game where you can just play through, chill, have fun with it, which so far this game really is being that for me. It's been chill and just having fun with it, so here we are on whatever... Oh, what the heck? Oh wow, we found a gold bar, okay, so I guess last episode, you know, we talked to Kofagagus and we were wondering where we get gold bars, and look at that, we just picked one up, so I guess that is what you do with those. Anyway, um, what was I, what was I even, my trail of thought just completely disappeared. I was saying that some games, you know, like, games don't have to be super hard for me to enjoy them, but it is nice to sometimes play some hard games, but, I don't know. I completely lost my trail of thought. Basically, I enjoy both hard and easy games, and I'm kind of hoping that this one's somewhere in between, because I don't want that much of a challenge with it, I guess, is what I'm saying. But, um, we did find a gold bar there on the sparkling ground, so keep your eyes out for those, because apparently there are little sparkling things on the ground every once in a while, and for some reason I pressed no. I don't know why you would say no to that, I guess if you, like, missed out on a little sparkling spot on the ground or something, but... 
Usually I would assume that you're gonna pick all of those up or want to pick all those up. So we did find a gold bar. Maybe that was like a really rare item and I just got like super lucky finding it on the first try, but you know what? I don't care. I found one and I'm happy with it. So let's take out this auto note and it did use growl on us. So there you go. When you step on the wonder tile, as you can see, the little down arrow that was on our head disappeared because yeah, the wonder tile basically returns the stats to normal. So let's head on through the rest of the hazy maze cave. Kind of is a hazy maze cave though. And going through, it's not too hazy though. It is called hazy pass. It's not too hazy so far. One thing that I really have never learned about Mystery Dungeon, or I guess I haven't played enough of it to know, is um, the whole partner system. Because I know that later on you'll get some partners, but apparently in this game your partners, or a few of them are, like, you get them basically, but I'm pretty sure you can still acquire other partners, so I know some of you know that out there, so if you'd like to let me know, then go ahead, but I know that eventually we'll figure it out anyway, so I'm just hoping that we can get some, like, really cool Pokemon on our team, because I kind of want to... I don't know, it's not that I don't want to use Pikachu, because I'm sure, I think you can have three partners in your team. I really haven't played Mystery Dungeon in that long, but I think you can have, yeah, three Pokemon on your team, so I want to have probably Pikachu for a while, but then get, like, some really cool Pokemon. I wonder if you can get Stunfist, that would be really awesome, but I don't know, I don't think Stunfist is going to be in it. If it is, though, then that is, that is definitely going to be taking over Pikachu at some point, or at least whenever we can get Stunfist, because I don't know if you guys know, but I kind of have a thing for Stunfisk. Nothing... Nothing too bad, but it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a like a soulmate kind of thing. I think if um, if I was a Pokemon trainer, Stunfisk would be my soulmate Pokemon. I'm just making up words at this point. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's okay. We're going to make our way through this dungeon, and maybe at some point in the game we'll find a, a wonderful Stunfisk to be our wonderful Pokemon friend and journey with us as we try to kill everyone. I don't know. We did actually get an elixir earlier though, so we are running out of PP quite fast here. We ran out of PP on Tackle, I think, or Water Gun? Uh, one of the two. I didn't really... Okay, we can just check. I just realized. Yeah, we ran out of PP on Tackle, but we still have some on Water Gun. So if I do run out of PP on Water Gun, I'll go ahead and use an elixir because I'm pretty sure we're going to have a boss at the end of this dungeon. We didn't have one in the last one, but I think this dungeon actually will have some sort of boss character. So struggling to find the stairs here, however, it seems to be taking up quite a lot of time. And I'm going to avoid that whooper, so let's just go on to 3F. Or apparently not. Advice Bulletin, you're getting close to your goal. It's not much farther now. Time to be careful. What is that? There's a deposit box here, too. Be sure to organize your items, then challenge the path ahead. Oh, and any time you find a deposit box like this in a dungeon, you'll also be able to save your adventure from the X menu. It's a good idea to save your adventure whenever you can. Well, you know what? We're men. We don't have to save the game. For some reason, we don't have a map anymore, it just has controls of what to do, so I guess... Um, oh! Yeah, I guess this is just literally a floor where you can save the game, so we might as well do that, considering they told us to do so. I really don't want to end up dying and humiliating myself in front of the YouTube audience, that would suck a little bit. Um, but, I don't know, it'll be okay, so... I guess you do find some floors randomly where you can just save the game. I thought it was just like a normal floor, but... I guess it's like, a, it's like a transition kind of floor, if you know what I mean. Max Elixir, we kind of need that, so I'm hoping that we can find that Wooper. But of course, it seems like we're never going to find any of the Pokemon that pick stuff up, because I never do. I keep, like, trying to find the Pokemon that keeps picking stuff up, but I never do. See, we still haven't found a single Pokemon on this floor. Kind of sucks. We found Audino, but she didn't pick up anything. Or he. Is Audino one of those, like, only female Pokemon? Because it seems like it would be, but I don't know. I'm not certain on it. I think actually when we saved, it gave us our PP back. Yeah, that's awesome actually, so we don't even need to use the elixir anymore. And awesome, we grow to level 9. HP goes up by 2, attack goes up by 1, and defense goes up by 2, and I assume Pikachu is also going to be leveling up here. Yep, I guess we level up together every time. Wasn't certain about that, but I guess we kind of do. Even though Pikachu is just kind of like being, is actually doing just as much work as we are, but Pikachu is being mainly supportive for us, like using Growl and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and step on this wonder tile, Pikachu, you step on it. Step on it, Pikachu! Oh god. What? Whatever, Pikachu, you're being dumb. You're being dumb, you need to step on the wonder tile and you don't want to, so you know what? I'm just gonna let you die, because that's what a good friend would do. Keep on using that growl. I actually don't know how to make him step on the wonder tile, because he just doesn't seem to want to. So there we go, we pick up the 68 monies that Sawaddle uh, picked up earlier, so I guess we finally found one of the Pokémon. There is a Wooper around here, however, with like a Max Elixir, so I'm hoping I can find that guy. Kinda want that Max Elixir. As I said earlier, uh, you can use the B button 
to speed up, speed your way through dungeons, but by now, if you're playing along or if you are just playing any mystery dungeon game, you should know that. And basically, it'll stop you at every, like, intersection, I guess you could call it. I'm hoping that the stairs are somewhere around here, so I kind of want to get back outside and do some more puzzly stuff. I don't know. Like I said, later on, um, these will get pretty re repetitive. I can't even say my words. So, um, later on, I'll be skipping some of these. Hey, Orange, the way seems a bit brighter ahead. Let's push on, okay? Well, we did make it outside, Pikachu, so I guess that's why it got brighter. Ah, that's... Hey, it's Scraggy! That little whippersnapper, hoodlum, gem stealer person. We finally found him. Orange, let's catch up to him and see what he has to say. Oh, someone's coming. That can't be. wonder who it is. I guess it... Is it going to be like Timber? You want us to hide? Whoa! It's going to be like the Timber is making some kind of... Like, shady deal with the Scrafty, isn't it? I keep saying Scrafty, but it's Scraggy. Huh, and now you want me to whisper? Okay, fine, I'll whisper. Seriously, what's going on? Oh boy, look at that. Predicted like a book. What? That's... Gerger! Why is Gerger here? Sorry for the wait. Took you long enough. I want to get down to business, yo. Don't be like that. I've got to be careful to make sure I'm not followed either. It takes a lot of work to keep up this kind of scam, you know. You haven't lost your touch though, huh? You're still quite skillful, little thief. So, where's the cash? Yeah, yeah. I've got what I promised you. Getting a little greedy, huh? Hmm. Who you calling greedy? Those blue gems will pay you back big time if you sell them in the West. Compared to that, the P you pay me is... Like a drop in the bucket, eh? Heh, <laughs> well that's true enough, yo. Cause, I wouldn't just go in a stony cave myself and get some, but... Well, it does get pretty dicey in there. Haven't you lend the particular expertise of that problem is... Just plain expedient. Ain't no other way about it. I'm gonna have those two fools bring me some more gems. I'll be calling on the usual amount once they do. What? You've gotta have him get even more? Those little losers? That's right. After all, they're still dumb enough to believe I'll build them a house. At this rate, I'll be able to send them after more gems for the rest of their lives. You serious? Dog, you're cold. It's their dream to build their own home, ain't it? They're gonna keep believing in that dream and just keep bringing you gems forever, never knowing it won't come true. Man, I think I could cry. Ain't you got a heart, dog? You want me to cry over something like that? <laughs> you, the great Scraggy who pulls off away many schemes in the West. Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> just, just keep on laughing. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> what, you two? We followed Scraggy here. Girder. Quite the convincing act he had us falling for, huh? Hmm. Anyone who expect honestly in this world is a fool. That's what you get for trusting me. Dream big and you lose big. It's your own fault for getting tricked. You, you were tailing me? You mean you actually saw through my mad skills? I'm impressed, dog. But, what you think you're gonna do now, yo? You wanna fight with the two of us? I'm warning you now, I've been tussling on the wrong side of the route my whole life. The battles I lived through, well, little squirts you couldn't imagine. I'd be best for you to toddle just home to your mamas, you hear? No way, bring it. My, my, my. And even after I went to the trouble of finding you losers, you don't have a bit of sense between the two of you, don't you? Oh boy, looks like we got a dull battle coming up. Fine then, we just want to show you, don't you? Well, we'll show you what a big mistake you're making. Let's roll! And we have our first boss battle against Garter and Scraggy. I don't know exactly if we should just like focus one of them down or if we should fight them one on one. I don't really know what to do here, but I'm just going to focus down on Scraggy. If Pikachu wants to go ahead and hit some Scraggy up in here, then I will greatly appreciate that. And it seems Pikachu is actually going for Scraggy himself as well. So we're just going to go ahead and keep hitting the Scraggy here with Water Gun. Oh boy, Tom Tom is getting low HP. That kind of sucks. Oh boy, I really hope he doesn't die in the next hit. Oh, that did do a lot of damage though. So I think I'm going to have to give Tom Tom here an Oran Berry. Let's go ahead and go to items. Um, Tom Tom, take an Oran Berry, bro. And I think, yeah, we can't really hit anymore. And we took out Scraggy. Awesome. So let's go ahead and switch up in here so that I can tank the hits for a few times. I'm gonna go ahead and use an Orenberry on myself now because it would kind of suck if we died. Oh wow, that actually heals up for a hundred? That's a lot of heal. Okay, I think we'd actually do this though. It doesn't show their HP, so we don't know exactly how much HP they have left. And we could- Oh god, this is gonna suck. We're gonna die here, aren't we? Oh boy, that was really, really close actually. So let's go for one more. Oh no, I don't have an Orenberry. 
Oh boy. Um. Revives the Pokemon when fainted. I think I kind of need to escape from this guy, so. Oh god. He's gonna hit me, isn't he? And we're gonna die right here. We're gonna die. We're totally gonna die. Pikachu, take him out, please. Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Oh no! I just put myself in range, I think. Uh, can we just keep running? Pikachu, can you take him out, please? Okay, Pikachu, keep hitting him. Yes! Okay. Oh man, that was that was close. That was close. I just kinda had to run away for a little bit there. But we actually pulled it off somehow. Youch! That was a nice sound effect, little classical little zip away sound effect. You I'm not gonna lose here. I'm not gonna lose to you fools. Garter! Come on! Boss, please just stop. What? Boss, we're begging you. Please, stop doing these things. You too. Why you? You didn't. You wouldn't. So, you two are the ones who sold me out. The backstabbers appear at last. It was your meddling. Gah! Garder! Yeah. Boss, please, let this be the last time you do this kind of thing, okay? What? We don't want to do this anymore. We never work. All we do is bad stuff. We don't want to watch any more of this. You never used to be like this, boss. You were nice, and you loved your work. You're not... Well, you're not the boss we knew and not anymore. What? You little... You think you can defy me, huh? We don't want to do bad things anymore, boss. Please, boss, we're begging. Can't we... Can't we just do honest work together like we used to? Can't you just have fun working with us again? Work like we used to. You guys ought to know better than anyone. There's no way that can happen. <laughs> Two flashes of light and Gerder is back on a rampage. Oh god. Oh god. Dude. Dude, that is just mean. It's time you guys learned already. You can't. You can't just go back to the way things used to be. Poor little Timbers, man. This game is sad, dude. Oh, Are you guys okay? See, now I'm just confusing the accents, but that is just cold. That freaking backstabbing going on, ruining dreams. Gerder's just a mean dude. I have no other words for it. Just, just a mean dude. I would call him other things, but they're probably not very PG rated. So, we're just, we're just gonna call him a mean dude. You see, our boss, he used to be a great carpenter, really. Everyone loved his work back then. We were in awe of his skill, and that's why we wanted to work with him. Being his apprentice was really, really fun back then. But then, the boss got injured one day. After we was injured his back, we couldn't do what we used to do. His body just wouldn't listen, so we couldn't build the way he used to either. And because of that, he couldn't practice his building skills, so they went downhill. But even then, even without his old skills, the boss kept doing what he could best, you know? He still had pride in his work, but then it happened. What happened? A certain Pokemon asked us to build him a house. Look what he had. Scars by that time. We were so happy, all three of us. We poured our hearts into that house. We used every last drop of our energy we had to build it. And that Pokemon, he started by bashing the quality of our work. And then, he destroyed the house right before our eyes. What? At first we thought he had turned it down because our work wasn't good enough. If that were really the reason, well, I guess we would have just dealt with it. But that wasn't the reason. From the very start, he was just toying with us. Toying with you? He had us build that house with every intention of tearing it down afterwards, planning from the store to complain about the work as an excuse not to pay us. That Pokemon called the boss's house a piece of garbage. Can you imagine that? And he smashed it over and over until nothing was garbage was left. And the boss had no confidence in himself after that day. He gave in to his despair and stopped working after all. And eventually he started cheating all the Pokemon like you. What a horrible story. But you said that Pokemon was just toying with you, right? He was planning to tear down the house from the start. So that means it didn't have anything to do with how good or bad your work was. Gerder shouldn't have given up his faith because of that. We tried saying that too, but the boss just wouldn't listen to a word we said. In the end, he's the one that felt his loss of skills the most. In that house, we tried so hard to do a perfect job. And then it all got torn down right in front of his face. I don't think it's any surprise he gave up after that. But still, that doesn't mean he should become a criminal. We don't want the boss to become a criminal. We thought maybe he could change things this time, and that's why we tried yelling you about Scraggy. But in the end, the boss isn't going to change, is he? We just want to work together with the boss again. We want him to go back to being the same old boss who loved what he did. Oh. Sad, sad story, but unfortunately, I don't know. Maybe we could actually have Gerder have a change of heart. It's settled then. 
Our house is definitely going to be built by Girder. Are you serious? Tom Tom, this is not cool, man. I do not agree with this, man. Even if he's been so horrible to you, why would you? We've decided. We don't want anyone else to build it. Girder's our guy. I want to see the house you two and Girder build together. A house with all your heart and soul poured into it. Girder headed farther in this way. Let's go ask him to help us. Even if he says no, we're going to keep on asking till he agrees. Whoa! Whoa! Thank you! Thanks, you guys! Wah! Oh, come on, don't come crying to us. No, that's this is not cool with me, man. So it looks like that is going to be it for this episode as Timber continues to cry and the other Timber cries as well, I guess. We're going to be convincing Girder to build us a house. Will we be able to succeed? We'll have to find out next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon.